Hey, Brad Clark here for Rigging Dojo. Today we're going to cover the Blender Rigify Advanced Feature Relink Constraints. We're going to be using the Unreal to Rigify add-on, and I'm going to be using a character exported to FBX, uh, rigged up originally by Kyle Figgins and available through his TurboSquid store. Let's jump over to Blender. Here we can see I have a bone that typically in this case between the legs to, to help fix the cloth would not be existing in the regular Rigify meta rig. So to use this advanced feature, I basically want a new bone here that when the rig gets built, it's going to follow the two legs. So let's look at how we do this. I've defined a new template for the meta rig. I'm going to jump to edit meta rig. And here you can see I've already matched up this meta rig to, to the skeleton, including adding a new bone to follow to, uh, to create a rig and drive this um, original deformation bone. I'm going to jump over from edit mode to pose mode and then go to the bone tab. And in the bone tab here, you can see that we have a rigify type that has to be defined when you create a new bone. Normally there's nothing here, so we're going to add a basic raw copy. You can read about all these features in the rigify documentation, but what we're going to show is how to use the relink constraint functionality. I'm going to ignore the parent mode for now. And essentially, the meta rig is going to be what gets constrained, and then that constraint will be rebuilt when the rig is created. So I'm going to jump down to the constraint menu. I'm going to add an armature constraint. Now, for this to work, if you look at the documentation, the Constraint needs to be named the same as the bone it will get assigned to when the rig is built. So since we uh, have this bone selected here, rig bone, that's what we're going to define it as. So we rename the constraint to the bone name. And now I'm going to add target bones. And in this case, uh, I want it to be on the meta rig. And then I'm going to look for a leg, 00L. And I want another target leg 00R. And I need a way to tell the rig when it's built, Rigify needs to replace these targets with the correct bones that it gets built in the, uh, the rig. So I'm going to add an at symbol. And I know that when Rigify is built, it adds DEF bones or deformer bones that will get skinned to. And those deformer bones are driven by both the IK and FK. So I want my new rig bone here to be constrained to the DEF dash leg target. So that's all we need to do. We need to define um, a generic prefix. You can also do it individually, but for now we're just going to do generic prefix DEF. Bone name at DEF and then pick the targets. Save the meta rig. And this stores the constraint system as an extra JSON file through the UE to Rigify toolkit. If you're using regular Rigify, the meta rig will stay in the scene and you can just build the rig. So the next thing we're going to do is jump over and I've already defined and mapped the, uh, the system here, FK to source. So using the, the UE toolkit here, I've mapped all the bones to drive everything. If I jump to control now, you can see that the rig has been built. And now if we select our extra new bone here, we can see that in the constraint tab in pose mode, the constraint is still on this joint. It's been named, the name stays the same, but when we look at the target, you can see that the rig, what used to be meta rig is now rig. And the target bones are DEF leg zero zero. And you can see the Rigify system builds a new rig called rig, and then there are def bones, uh, MCH, there's all kinds of different settings. But I chose the deformation bones so that no matter what mode I'm in, FK, or if I was in IK, my cloth helper bone will move between the two systems. So that's how you use the Rigify relink constraint functionality that exists in the Rigify system. 
um, to set up extra cloth bones. This rig has a lot of extra controls that need this type of rigging for the uh, for all the helpers that are in the clothing and the sleeves and the belt and the mask. So we're going to be using this feature quite a bit as uh, this rig gets built out. And I hope this helps you explore more advanced rigging inside of Rigify.